Hey guys, Jman37x here bringing you episode 133 of Epic Battle Fantasy V. Last time, we finished doing all of the prep left, uh, just everything left to do in the entire game, uh, except for one teeny tiny thing, um, which is what we're taking care of this time, the final boss of the game. Alright. I'm not going to spend, you know, I usually I spend a ton of time, you know, talking right before the boss. I'm not going to do a ton of that this time. I'm going to give you a quick overview of my equipment. Um, I'm not going to go into details right now because uh, I haven't even scanned the bosses yet. So it's it's going to become, you know, for any of you guys who don't already know, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep it pretty vague here. Um, but this is similar to what I used when I did this on my live stream uh, with some minor tweaks that I think are going to improve it. You know, some things I've learned since the initial fight. Um, oh yeah, here's my summons. Um, I just had to go recapture Wise Mirror off off, uh, off camera. Swapped a few around, some I think that might be handy. Um, skills, this is who I have on everyone. Well, this is what I have on everyone right now. Um, just a reminder, this is in version 1, 1 1.5 or whatever the current version is. I'm not doing the version 2 beta right now. Um, this is still in version 1. And, um, we have all but two medals in the game, so I believe this boss will be at his, at its very strongest in this fight. We fought all the optional bosses, we've gotten all but two of the medals, um, I think it's gonna be at its strongest. Without further ado, let's hop into it here. Alright, must be the main cosmic monolith. Okay. So this, this, this is our, this, this is apparently what's been causing all the absolute pandemonium we've been seeing. Let's go ahead and give it a scan here. <clears throat> this is the Cosmic Gigalip. You can see this thing is absolutely massive. It's affectionately known as the, uh, the Cosmic, the, the Cosmic Ice Cream Sandwich because of its, uh, layered design here. Um, reshape space-time to create pathways from different universes. That's a little bit alarming. Um, you see it's, it only has one weakness, 300% weakness, and then all the rest are resistances. Um, it can, it will reshift its weaknesses, kind of like Akron from the, the third game. Um, it'll, it'll change its, it'll reshift its, uh, its weakness, I think, every three turns, or if you inflict it with, uh, I want to say Siphon. Um, you can inflict it with various status effects, you know. The usual jazz, you can debuff its evade, which I will go ahead and do. Um, let's see if it's good. So it's actually weak to dark right now. I believe it's random when you come in. That's that's quite beneficial for us. Um, whoops. Uh, because we have uh, Lance a bit, and no legs for that matter, both kind of kitted out for for that sort of shindig. Um, so let's go ahead and just start doing some prep here, I think. <clears throat> okay. It can also do that, where it will just inflict enchanted on everyone. Um, most of it, and, and you know, the fact that it uses that, it tells you, and most of its attacks are actually physical, which is a little bit unusual. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a protect as well. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and throw out an attack. It's, it's, its attack might hurt us a bit, but I kind of want to just start throwing out some damage. Um... Just gonna go with an animator flux here. Yeah, and it is a 300% weakness. As you can see, can't capture it. You know, no big shocker there. Um, yes, it also has the ability to counterattack. Oh, it's going for the siphon. Okay, that's. <laughs> I find that to be an interesting choice, considering it had us enchanted and everything. It was it was ready to go, but uh... <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever works for you, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and drop. Uh, Matt Doll on No Legs. I think No Legs is going to be able to put in some work here, just because he's got a dark weapon, and uh, his attack is, you know, it's not its not too shabby. You know, nothing super crazy, but I think he'll be able to do us some good here. Maybe drop a curse on him? Yeah, alright. Okay. Griffon, choose our attacks wisely. Yeah, so this guy will counterattack. Um, I'm not sure if it's a 100% counter rate, but uh, it certainly is quite frequently. <laughs> Uh, let me think here, sorry. Um, this physical attack isn't buffed right now, so... It's not gonna do us a ton of good. Let's... Let's actually maybe drop a weaken on this thing. 
Okay, it's gonna heal it a little bit, that's fine. So there's the phase shift, changing its elemental pride. And that doesn't use its turn, by the way. It, can, it does that for free. Might look like, looks like it might be protecting this area. Mm. Well, that would have been useful if uh, no legs wasn't dead. And it also will buff its evade when it does so. I forgot it. Can also it also counterattacks the between turn effects, which I find particularly irritating. <laughs> so that's that's something you need to keep keep an eye on. Um, and it does buff its evade. Like most cosmic models, it evade its evade is quite high. So that that is something you're gonna have to uh, be able to take care of. Uh, okay, weak to bio. That's not too bad. I buffed Matt's attack yet? No. Oh, he's still siphoned. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. Hmm, trying to think what to do here. I think I'm gonna cure the siphon, and let's just go ahead and have you heal. Uh, Heal on it here, I think. <clears throat> so it uses a small handful of different physical attacks. Um, I believe they are all physical, though, so just just something to keep in mind. Okay, she got an extra turn, which is good. Also, it appears that when he uses his face shift, he does remove all debuffs from him. So it's not that useful to actually stack up debuffs. Um, that being said, this one, this particular debuff will be very beneficial to us. So let's go ahead and apply that. Um, okay, let's do Sword just to get everyone healed up. This thing has, it has no way of attacking the backup, so you don't have to worry too much about that. <coughs> um, no legs is attack. Oh no, he died, so his attack is not going to be buffed anymore. Uh, okay, you'll notice it can be burned also, I think, which is something that gets changed in version 2. Uh, it is kind of weird that you can get burned, but uh, uh, yeah, it, it's got that going for him, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I really want to attack with Matt again, but uh, just don't think I can. You know what? I I'm I'm gonna take advantage of it while I can here. Hmm, I forgot he can counterattack with Siphon as well. And there he went for the uh, phase shift again. <laughs> Going for an enchanted, okay. Couldn't mean a particularly deadly turn next turn, but it also might not. Ooh, he's weak to earth now. Okay. Okay. That's a pretty handy one. He can't be staggered. Um, so we should be able to make some pretty good usage out of this turn here. Okay. Oh, oh no, that's right, it's a bait. Um, 95. Hmm. Well, I need to heal here, so I gotta. I think I'm gonna go with. The, I'm gonna take my luck here. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, we just <laughs> miss. Him. We just gotta kind of chip away at him here. We can handle this after all. Everything. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just the monolith. This is. Yeah. I think we'll be able to manage here. Uh, still weak to earth, which is still very good. Let's. Go ahead and do another bind. Just to avoid any uh, unfortunate missing scenarios. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and counterattack. Ow. Alright, um. I gotta I gotta take my shot. I didn't I didn't think Matt was particularly evasive, but man. Okay, this is this is his one one of his unique attacks, I guess. Um, that's I believe his only magic attack that he uses. Why is it all alone? Bosses always have backup. Um, yeah, it's even like Scorch. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty... <laughs> damn. Um, yeah, it's a it's a particularly tricky little attack he uses there. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Then he comes back with uh, big stats. Then I think, uh, yeah, I think that last turn of. Or with weakness is gonna go to waste. Let me, uh. Um. Let's swap her out. She's unbuffed at this point, so I, I think she's gonna be more of a liability than anything. Alright. 
There it goes again. Fade buff. Okay, the siphon. Kind of annoying. Matt, I think, is immune. Or it's resistant, at least. Uh, because of the, the, you know, some of the equipments I have on him, he's immune to most of the very debilitating status effects, which is quite handy. <sighs> Weak to dark again. Ah, uh, that would have been useful. Um, well, let's... Hmm. Yeah, this is... Lance, or, uh, sorry, Matt is really not going to be doing us any good here, but he's well buffed, so I'll actually keep him around just for, um support, I guess. He's he's very, very buffed right now, so I think it's useful enough. Uh, his accuracy is pretty bad right now, actually. Um, uh, let's just go for it. <laughs> Damn. It's a pretty cool uh, dodge animation, though, so I don't, I don't mind too much if we got to see a little bit of that. Alright, what do you got? Enchanted again? He's really... He really likes doing uh, a setup moves as a, over like just actually attacking us. <laughs> you know, I've got no complaints there. Um, I actually don't have putrid worm. I, you know, it's not gen it's not that useful in general. But uh, you know, when he when he keeps buffing its evade, it could could certainly come in handy. Here, let's let's rip on physical defense. And let's do... Let's do a Dark Pulse. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, okay, she's dead. That's unfortunate. Did it again? Oh my goodness, what's happening? It's not what I want to hear, yeah. Alright, that's really good, too. Um, we have two pieces of armor that are going to be calling in med packs, so we have a lot of very beneficial between turn effects going on here. Ah, Lance got siphoned again. Let's, uh, let's just do this. There you go, buddy. Alright, he should be able to, again, he should be able to put in a decent amount of work. Yeah, it's not too bad. I, I'm basically just chipping him down. I could be using limits, but, uh, I, I think, I think we've got things mostly under control here, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, shift again. You see, he's getting cracked, so we're, we're, we're making some progress here. There's the massive laser barrage. Holy, that's what I like to see. Okay, here let's um, let's try and inflict it with curse. Okay, I forgot about the evade situation because I very easily could have failed. Um, let's. Let's do some cloud. But I, I really just want to get an attack in with Matt here. Hopefully it hits. Again, I'm kind of taking some odds here. Well, let's see how we do. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Holy is one of the best weaknesses he could have right now. As you can tell, just Mark quits. Ah. Because we cursed him. Yeah. Okay. I forgot. So he will actually use the phase shift in response to any debilitating status effects as well. That was my bad. I, I kind of blanked on that one. Um. Man, that would have been useful if these guys weren't dead. Alright. Mm. I'm just gonna swap her out for now. Okay. Let's see what we do now. Wind. Ugh. That's not a great one. Not a great one there. Actually, swap in Lance and we can do a single target heal. Okay. And surge, that's fine. We got decent electric resist, actually. Yeah. Um, wind. Alright, well. Wind combos well into itself, so that's, that's pretty useful. Let's do this, mostly just to inflict light so that, uh,. Matt's attack is gonna be even more devastating here. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's very good. Um. Yeah. Let's do health strike. Mm. All right. Let's got him down here. All right. 
take you apart and find out what makes you tick. Yeah, Lansky gets some pretty serious weaponry from this thing, I'm sure. Um. Alright, let's go for another attack. Okay, that's by far the worst thing that he could do. Uh, for him, as for us, it's great. Let's, um... I think he's going to be weak to wind for one more turn. So we should be able to finish him off next turn. Ooh. Oh, that morale coming in there. Okay. Let's do quite sorry, I think. Alright. What's he got? Oh, no, he's changing. Okay. Ooh, he might self-destruct if we try to finish it off. Mm. Probably a good call. What's the weakness now? Fire, okay. Um. Hmm. Scorch is pretty pretty problematic. I think we might just go ahead and drop a 7th heaven here. Wow, her HP is massively debuffed. I don't know if this is gonna... I don't remember if this gets rid of uh, debuffs either. That's pretty bad. Uh, hmm. Let's just go for an attack. No. Okay. Um. I'd really like to get her HP up. Yeah. You know what? It's the final fight. Let's let's go ahead and. Oh, that didn't heal her though. Okay. Well, that's that should be all right. Okay, we got the Scorch back back up again, though, which is kind of annoying. Alright, let's heal. Let's, uh... Okay, mm. let's debuff. And it should keep this weakness for one more turn, I think. This probably won't kill him. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Oh, he even dodged it. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's heal up. And we're gonna go ahead and deliver the final blow here, so, uh... Let's... Let's even dry. Yeah, this is definitely gonna kill. Alright. Well. Without further ado, let's see what makes this thing tick. Let's get down to business, shall we? All right. Um. Okay, we're in a bit of bit of a rough spot here. I think. Yeah, I got a Viking monolith. We gotta get. Uh, we gotta get a foothold here. All right. He said the signature line there. I love that line, by the way. Allow me to introduce myself. I am your end. What a... He just doesn't need anything more than that. Alright, so yeah, as you saw, the, the Gigalith did in fact have a, um... On death attack. Um... Just thinking about how to go about this. Let, let's go ahead and... We gotta scan him at some point, so... Alright, this is the Devourer. Um... It's got three different, uh, companions, I guess, like, other part. I mean, this thing is just massive, but you can't see anywhere near the, the full size of its body. Um, entity from a different universe brought here by the Cosmic Monoliths. Yeah, so, uh, we killed the Gigalith, but, 
Unfortunately, we did not kill it in time. It was able to call this thing over from whatever dimension it came from. Um, two weaknesses, holy and dark, which is interesting. You would have expected it to be to heal from dark, but its its elemental set is actually pretty pretty simple. You can weaken it, curse it, tire it, all that stuff. It does not retaliate against those status effects, so you can you can gladly throw them on there. Um, he can heal them, I think, intermittently. But number one, slimy tentacle cast spells, as you can see. Um, it has a few different elements it uses, but it has some pretty notable weaknesses there. Um, it can be stunned, it can be instantly killed, it, it can't be present, but, uh, and it can be siphoned. Um, so those are all the things you want to keep in mind. Next up we have the eyeballs. These are kind of its main helpers. Uh, it uses a few different attacks, it mostly buffs and heals. Um, it shares the same weaknesses as the, as the devourer. Uh, pretty resistant to instant death, but not immune. Um, and then we have the spiky tentacles. Uh, these mostly use just physical attacks. Uh, Earth and Bio, I think. Uh, pretty much the same deal as the other tentacle. Um, we are going to... Uh, well, first, I need to... What's our best means of healing? Probably just a quartz over here. Yeah, let's just do the quartz art. I gotta get this scorch off very soon. <laughs> The, the, when they look at the screen like that, it's it's pretty unnerving. <laughs> he's, he's literally looking into the camera. And the little eyes can do it too. Okay, so we're going to start with an Annihilate here. Um, this is kind of the bread and butter of my strategy for this. is uh, Kill off everything it summons as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay, so here we're getting some... Exp Ooh, mad lived, okay. The fifth time I've ran this situation, each time you've interfered and corrupted the bounds. Do you not tire of being a nuisance? Okay. Interesting line. <laughs> it will be elaborated on more as we go on, but uh, for now we're just going to leave it alone. <laughs> so, I mean, really that's the main part of my strategy here, is just kill off what it summons so that I don't have to worry about it. No legs is going to prove very beneficial. That laser it used, by the way, is a bomb attack. It hits five times. Each hit does a bit less damage than the last one. Um, let's just do... Let's do this. So one thing about its tentacles is that it will retaliate with a full party heal if more than one of its tentacles are stunned, frozen, or siphoned. So you, if you try and keep two of them stunned at a time, it'll just heal everything, remove all status effects, or at least those status effects, and uh, it's, it's not going to be pretty. So I, I highly don't recommend that. Um, so basically, you can keep one of them stunned at a time, but I, I you don't want to go for anything above that. So I'm going to try and start loading up the status effects. That's his, uh, that's I believe a physical fire attack. Really cool, by the way. Um, and I think that attack largely inspired the name of this song, uh, Blaze Virus. At least. And that... That's kind of the attack I immediately think of when I when I think of this song. Um, so the thing also about the two, the spiky and the whatever the other tentacle is, is that you can actually, if you do enough damage, you can chop off the end of them. Um, and basically at that point they can only use an acid spray attack, which is like a weak bio attack, but it can inflict virus. So it's actually pretty scary because that can spread to the other side and start healing them, and it's it it, it could be a huge problem. So that's something I generally will opposite to not have to deal with if I can help it. Um, now what I'd really like to do is just get a huge attack with Matt here. So I'm going to try and go for exactly that. Let's go ahead and stagger him. There's no counter-attack business here. There's, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing funny. This, this fight's a lot more, you know, it's, it's like a lot more obvious what's going on than, uh, than the previous one. Okay. So... We don't have... Actually... Hmm... Ah, those are too expensive. I can't justify that. Alright, let's let's go ahead and uh, just drop a cleaver here. Very nice. All double crits, too. That was, that was actually almost a million damage there. Uh, no one believed me. I tried to organize the Earth's defense as I branded a fascist. See, that's the thing. You know, at this point, at this point Lance... Lance is seeming kind of justified. And, like, obviously... He took things way too far, but, I mean, he, exactly what he said was going to happen is happening. So, like, you know, sh fair enough to Lance on this one. Um, 
cleanse. No, that's single target, okay. Um, I'd really like to kill. Or here, let, here's what we can do. We can, since there is only one tentacle, we can just keep this guy stunned. Uh, can you freeze? No, okay. You could freeze the eyeball ones, I think, but, uh, desire is to create a clockwork universe populated by mo mindless automatons. <clears throat> only laws of nature obeyed without question. Hmm, okay. So, so basically, it wants to create a world without any sort of free thought or, um, or, uh, autonomy. Uh, basically, he wants to create the, the, the perfect, the, the perfectly coat, the most perfectly coded universe of all time. Um, here, I'm trying to think what to do. Um, <clears throat> this Scorch is continuing to be a problem, by the way. I gotta, I really gotta do something about this. Um, Um, yeah, in... I, I would like to kill these. Oh, health strikes don't cool down. Okay, never mind. I gotta wait one more turn before I can take care of the Scorch. So I guess I might as well uh, just kill some things off. Oh, I forgot. Lance actually has uh, firecrackers now. Okay. Let's do that. And then we'll do arrow rain. I, I'm not sure this is guaranteed against the eyeballs, but I know it's at least guaranteed. Yeah, it's actually not. Okay. It's pretty likely to work. I think that was actually fairly unlucky that that, that, that didn't work. Um, I think that was a wind attack it just used, by the way. Okay. Yeah, that attack can also inflict Scorch, which is just an even bigger pain. Um, so the Scorch is going to be continuing throughout this fight. Um, Alright, let's get you out here. Let's Let's heal. 50% HP debuff, man. Oh, Matt, what's happened to you? <laughs> Jeez. Um, he's really our best attacker, too. Um, let's just go for an attack, just because he's really doing a lot of damage. I just wanted to play video games. <laughs> Matt's really just... He really just wanted to enjoy the simple things, and, well, it's uh, proving a little bit challenging these days. So was I going to... Okay, here we go. Orange juice. This may be the first time I've ever used orange juice, and I've actually used it twice in one, in one fight. Okay, that's a big reason you want to kill off those eyeballs. Um, it's because they can do that. Which is notably unkind. It's bleeding. Yeah, so see, we're actually... We're, we're putting in some work here, you know. It's, it's not... It's, this isn't completely unwinnable. Clearly this thing is, you know... It, there's, some, there's some meta business going on here. But uh, we're making do. Alright. Swap you out. Keep this guy stunned pretty easily. Would like to dispose of these buffs it has. Okay. Stun this one. Okay. Not just beings are just. Oh, I thought he had revive. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Introduce uncertainties, butterfly effect of chaos and unreason. He's not very happy with uh not very happy with these guys right now. Um, okay, so charged. Now you'd think, okay, let me use uh one of the mirrors. However, it actually on I think on hard and epic, it has the the ability to wait up to two turns before it will actually use its charge attack. Which I think is incredibly clever and very annoying. <laughs> so basically, you know, you can enchant for two turns in a row, and he he still won't use his he still won't use the attack. Um. So we kind of have to improvise a little bit. Um, now, what I'm gonna do? I guess I should have maybe stunned the other one. I forgot I can't keep them both stunned, but, uh, that's probably alright. Um, I'm gonna let Nat go and buff magic attack. It is a magic, uh, it is a magic, uh, charge attack he's gonna use. And, just re-up on weaken, I guess. Um, I have no idea if he's gonna use it this turn, so let's find out. Don't buff him. Damn. Okay, that's a point. Yeah, he's gonna use it. Okay. Turn to the cosmic dust from which you came. <laughs> A 
Okay. Well, I was a little caught up in the moment. I absolutely did not make the right play there. <laughs> Truthfully, I forgot. So that was Giga Doomsday. That was a skill that was teased to have existed within, like, I think Randolph was the NPC's name. We encountered him, like, almost at the very beginning of the game. Um, he teased that Giga Doomsday was a skill. And it turns out the skill isn't used until the final boss of the game. Uh, <laughs> like 120 episodes later. Uh, it's got wind weakness right now, and she got siphoned right off the bat. Uh, let's just let's just try that again. <laughs> so, I, I actually had to go back in. Basically, if you... When you beat the Cosmic Gigalith for the first time, as you can see, he has half HP now. Um, so it's extremely beneficial to you I was trying to do it in one shot you know I figured okay we'll give it a try um, I'm, I'm not gonna go and redo all the you know the, the costume change and stuff again but um it's highly recommended you beat Gigalith you scan devour and then you leave because you can get through the fight much easier the second time through much easier so I highly recommend that as your um, as your method of, of attack here uh, Again, I, I was just, I was giving it a shot, you know, going with the narrative, but, uh, didn't really work out so well for me, huh? Uh, so I think this guy gives about 100 SP when he dies, so don't be afraid to be using summons throughout the fight. I um, mean, you know, I don't want to go too overboard with it here. Oh, I should have buffed Matt's attack, actually. Um, basically, the Gigalith is, is entirely, uh, well, it's not entirely, it's, it's, it's not a particularly hard fight, but the fact that it leads into the Devourer is particularly challenging. This is... The Devourer is genuinely a really hard fight. I mean, a really hard fight. Uh, there, there's nothing easy about the Devourer. It's genuinely challenging. It took me, an, I think, an entire three-hour stream to actually get through this fight. And even even then, it was it was kind of luck. I really didn't think I was going make it, to make it in the end. Um, we managed to get through it, but... Uh, I'm we're, I'm buckling in for the long haul here, so let's uh, let's just keep keep going at it here. I did change around equip slightly. I gave Nat the fire badge just because. So basically, the devourer. I, you know, now that we're kind of far removed from the the little shtick I was going for there, I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you the devourer's attacks. So he has this the the sword attack, the the fire sword hits three times, 50% fire, two uh, x scorch. Um, he has the, the, the beam attack, which is a uh, bomb that you saw. Um, I can't land stick into him. Did he already move or something and I already forgot? Okay, well, whatever. Just shoot him again. So, as you can see, this fight is going much quicker than it did the last time. <laughs> um, okay, we can go ahead and drop a cord sword. Uh, so he's got that. He has a heal, which uh, he doesn't use very often unless... Um, there is like stun, stun, or stun, siphon, or freeze inflicted on the party. Did he change? No, okay. Um, uh, so yeah, he's got the beam. He's got a wind attack, which can confuse. I actually forgot he had that. I think I already am kitted out for. Yeah. Pretty much everyone is immune to getting confused, which is good. Uh, I, I totally forgot he actually had that attack. Um, he has a tentacle attack, which is. So that attack was 50% wind. I didn't really. Uh, account for that too much. It's a pretty weak attack overall. Um, in resistances, I've prim I've focused on fire and bomb because those two kind of go together a lot. Um, and it's just in some of his more devastating attacks. So he's got a tentacle attack, very slightly earth. It poisons, pretty nondescript. Uh, it's random targets. It's pretty high damage actually, but it's only 30% earth, so you really can't defend against it like hardly at all. Um, Okay, let's... I'm gonna do a two-turn heal here, just because this is kind of unfortunate. Um, he's got the electric attack that he used when he charged... Uh, when he was when he charges, it uh, uh, dispels, which I, I guess I kind of forgot about. I did account for that in my setup. I tried to get dispel resist on a few guys, but um, basically for dispelling, you, you generally just gonna want to bless, just to have them bless. So he's got that. He'll always, always use that when he charges. That's the only time he uses it, I believe. Um, and then the the actual attack, the 
the charge attack is Giga Doomsday. It does a thousand one. That is a power. So most of our attacks, you know, like this, you know, two hundred power. Giga's Doomsday has a power of one thousand six hundred to the active party members. <laughs> this attack is no joke. I I forgot just how powerful it is. It is basically impossible to survive it unless. Oh, it's also only thirty percent bomb. So you'd need huge, huge bomb resist to be able to live this attack. I mean, just it's it's just unfeasible. I this again. I I did not address that correctly. What I should have done is either given the party morale with um, stumpy gloop or given the party auto revive with no legs. Either of those two would have been would have been a, a reasonable play. I did neither and. Uh, and it also does 400 to the backup. That's the part I really forgot about, is that it also hits the backup. Uh, I remembered it doing a lot of damage, but I did not think that the... You know, I thought that the very worst case, you know, my, I'll just fall, fall to the backup. But you can't. So it, it really was just a poorly conceived plan all, all around. Um, so that's, 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 that's what it's bringing to the table here. Um, it has a pretty small attack pool. That being said, uh, you know, it does have a good spread of elements, but the only four attacks it uses normally are Fire, Bomb, Wind, and Earth. Um, and the Wind attack is pretty weak. The main thing is that it confuses. It's uh, 1x Confuse. I don't know what the probability of it, actually. But, uh... Oh, it's, 30, it's only 30% chance to Confuse, too. So it's... It, that attack really is not that, not that notable. But, um... I guess we have to Wind now. Um, Alright, it's probably gonna die with the next attack, so... Oh, I should have done... Yeah, okay. Alright, we gotta... St also, I noticed this fight seems to... He uses this attack a lot more as the fight goes on. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, but uh, it, it seems to be a thing. Okay, that's really good. So, we're going... Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I just didn't mean to do that. Um... You know what, I'm actually going to... So we have some SP to spare. So what I, sh what I should really do is, is take full advantage of the situation. And um, actually use a couple summons here. I'm going to throw it on a wise mirror. Um, the Bless, I think, is going to be very helpful in this fight. Uh, the Scorch is such a pain. Remember, this is, version this is not version 2 also, so the Bless nerf has not come through yet. So this is just... As long as they don't die, this is strictly just five turns of stats immunity. Um, that's about as much as I want to chance it. I'm going to throw out a barrier just to make sure nobody dies between turns, but, uh, yeah. It really seems to use this attack almost every time now. Okay, I'm going to drop 7th Heaven. Um, yeah. And with any, I guess, this is kind of relying on Matt actually being able to hit which maybe is a little bit presumptuous. I do need him to do the finishing blow here. I need an extra turn so that I can uh, kill off the tentacles as soon as we as soon as we come in. Okay, good, very good. Um, I I'm not sure. I don't think this explosion is nerfed. No, <laughs> no, it's definitely not. Okay, so the only thing that's that weakens when you defeat him for the first time is just he has half HP. Okay. <sighs> Matt. Now, once again, I was I was hoping to avoid it this time. I think I think I actually have to do uh, Viking Mon again. Because I I can't afford to have Matt die. He's got I mean I I can't I he's got good statuses on him right now. The the buffs he'll get back when I revive him, but the uh, the status is not so much. So I, I actually have to use this again, which is unfortunate, but um. The problem is I can't kill off all the tentacles and also heal Matt with just one turn left, so... Uh, no such luck, unfortunately. Okay, so... I'll just have you heal everyone. I'm going to do an Annihilate. And, um... Well, I guess we'll see where we go from there. I'll probably just inflict the Devourer with a status effect or something. Okay. Well, the tentacles is easy. Or not. Wow. 
I failed two of them? You're kidding me. Wow, that's... Man, that's so bad. Ah, jeez. Uh... I'm gonna have to take care of that next turn. <laughs> that's really bad. Especially the fact that an eyeball got cut, got left alive. That's just bad news. Fifth time, yeah. Okay. So, I think I can go ahead and talk a little bit. <laughs> so it's got to be tentacles. I think I can go ahead and talk a little bit about the about the, the implications here. So, I mean, he says fifth time he ran the simulation. It's pretty obvious. Um, also, his name, the Devourer. If you shorten it to a standard six six character name. Um, it's called the Dev. This is basically the creator of the epic battle fantasy universe, at least to some extent. Um, the, the exact details of this are, are kind of left to interpretation, I think. But, um, in general, basically he's been running simulations, um, and the, whoop. Jeez. Um, alright. Oh my goodness. Alright. He has boosted status chance too, doesn't he? How did that fail? Okay, whatever. Um So so basically the uh, that, that's about that's about all we've been able to discern from his dialogue so far. But um that, that's kind of the idea. I, I kind of see this see him as like a the ultimate version of the Beholder. You may have noticed the Beholder is not in this game. This is one of the only games where the Beholder does not make an actual appearance. He, he's kind of in the game. He, um, I mean, there's the staff, the Beholding staff, uh, which I'm very fond of. It's very good. Um, that, I believe, is his wind attack, by the way. And you can see it's, it is actually quite weak. Okay, no legs might die here. Um, so I... How I see this is that the Beholders in the previous games have kind of been his, like, some version of him that he sent into each of the, the different simulations or each of the games to keep an eye on things. And that was why he wasn't in this game, is because he's actually just, um, you know, he's trying to come into the world himself this time. This has not been confirmed, there's no confirmed connection between him and the Beholder, but it's just kind of a... It's just kind of something I've, I always, I always think of. Like it's, it, it seems sound enough. Um, here, I think we're going to do. Just have a, a turn with Matt doing addition on some damage here. All right. I am continually disappointed by by the results of this fight. Man. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll wait another turn. Okay. We still have Bless. Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Very good. Alright. Yeah, Heaven's Gate is really an obvious choice for this fight, I think. You get, you get counterattacks that do good damage. Counterattack with Unleash, which can then follow up with a counterattack of uh, Holy Sword. It's just really good. I, I think it's it's kind of a no-brainer for a Holy Sword in this fight. Um, there's a lot of ways you can go about this. I don't. I, I have no doubts that this is not the most efficient way to do it. In particular, my means of inflicting instant death. Um, I almost think Knife Nat might be better, but I did the math and her um, Rainbow Blast is not guaranteed to work. But I, I mean, apparently it's not guaranteed to work with the Arrow Rain either. So man, I don't know. I, I'm starting to think. Uh, I'm starting to think the other the other strat might just be better. Uh, knife nat. If if I lose again, I very well might go for a, a knife setup. Honestly. All right, let's go for this. Damn, not quite as many double crits, and also I didn't even get the uh, the holy sword at the end. Hmm. Lance is susceptible to dying, but really this guy's the, the eyeball. I mean, this is the main benefit to having it on. Okay, we're good. Having it on Anna is that, you know, she can pretty easily keep them stunned, but if you had it on Nat, she could just instant kill them just whenever she wants, so. Um, 
Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think that knife nap might be the best way to go here. But, you know, th this is the strat I started with, so we're, we're just going to continue with this for now. Um, okay, I'd like to get this guy weakened again. Gonna get rid of the curse, but that's fine. The curse is just for dealing damage. It's not actually, not actually that essential. I should try and get tired on him too. That could be useful. Okay, so that's the charge, and it dispelled everyone. Great. Okay. Okay. So, I will not be making that mistake again. Um, just a matter of what do I want to use here. So who has? Okay, so this gives morale. This also heals, so I'm not sure if this is really necessary. Um, and yeah, actually, that being said, no legs has more useful limits, so. Speaking of which, I should actually have no legs use some of his limits, huh? <laughs> that might be good. I mean, the destroyer actually is gonna put in some work. Okay. Or I could go for an auto revive. I kinda like auto revive as a, as a fallback. It's only 24 SP, that's pretty cheap. This is to back up too, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's let's do the let's do the, the morale strat. It is, like I said, it is a single hit. I, it's that pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw the morale is the recommended way to handle this. If not, I'm about to get I just got tricked real hard. Alright. Um And you know what? Let's go ahead and throw down that tired I was talking about. Okay, so this guy's stunned. Even if he summons something, it's not going to be able to attack immediately, so... Okay. Also, you know, like, we, this whole thing does take place above Earth, so this, you know, that's, that's how he's able to actually do that. And the good thing about that is that it is pretty much guaranteed to fill up the vast majority of your limit break bar whenever he uses it. So, you know. <laughs> it's, it's not all bad. And then you can, you know, assuming you actually got Nats' Limit Break, you can immediately follow up with the Seventh Heaven to get everyone back heal healed back up, you know, stats are uh, buffed up and all that stuff. So, it's it's not too bad. <laughs> you just have to do the right thing. I, I totally, I had a total mental lapse. That was absolutely my fault. But, uh, you know, that's fine. We're, we're getting through it here. Okay, there's two of them. That's good enough for me. Let's try for a, uh... Oh, that's why... Oh, that was stupid. Oh, I should have fireworks on no legs. Yeah. That... Because it's on Lance. Lance doesn't actually have any status boosting here. So that's why it's actually feasible that, uh, these guys could potentially not get, uh, inflicted with bad luck. Let's just go for it. Nice. Okay. That's good. Okay. I'm not scared at all. Oh, did it just resummon everything? Oh, okay. That's one thing I'm... That's still a big unknown for me, is how this fight determines when to resummon... That's kind of handy. Let me see if I can read up on it here. Okay. Respawn count. Okay, so there's some sort of, like, respawn counter. I just... I, I don't have the time to read up on it right now. But um, basically, if he if it if he deems it it necessary, he can obviously just do a full resummon, which is okay because we actually have annihilate on deck here, so I'm I'm pretty okay with that actually. <laughs> I hope he just realized that I had that, so that's good. All right, and considering we, she had good luck, that might have been guaranteed instant death. If not, again, it's very likely to actually work out. Okay, so he's pretty debuffed here. About as much as he's going to be, except for Evade, which doesn't really matter. He's not intended to be a very evasive uh, enemy. <laughs> so we can kind of start putting in some work here. Honestly, if I didn't make that other mistake, I think we were on pretty good track last time. I, again, I just, I just did a stupid thing. But uh, we're doing okay so far. If you can keep him debuffed... I mean, you can see his attacks don't actually do a ton. Someone is talking about simulations. An outside influence from another dimension. This guardian of yours is an abomination. A player of sick games. This is, of course, referencing us. Or he actually is fully aware that the player exists. 
which is why he actually looks directly at the camera sometimes. He looks just straight at you because he knows you're there. Okay, we don't want that. Uh-uh. Hold on, who is Purify? Uh, let me make sure. Here's a common Okay. I hate to have to waste a turn to do this. We absolutely cannot have Virus coming into this fight. Uh, which just sucks, because I have to get rid of all the other ones, too. Which really sucks. This is yet another downside of this strategy, actually, is the fat fly. Um, I, I didn't even think about that. That's... <laughs> Man, that's pretty bad, actually. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Jeez. But you see, like, once he gets in his, his attack debuffed, if you can keep up on killing the things that he summons, his attacks don't do... There he goes again. His attacks don't actually do a ton of damage. Uh, you know, besides, obviously, like, Giga Doomsday and stuff. Cannot harm your guardian, but I can block their progress. Destroying you will leave them with no avatars. I'll defeat you over and over until they tire of this game. So basically, he's just trying to beat us over and over until we, we uh, rage quit. Please, please, please stop doing that. Oh my god. <sighs> That's so bad. I, there's nothing I can do about that either. Like, if I want to use Fat Fly, that's just something that can happen. It's even on cooldown. This is horrible. This is, this is completely not part of the plan. Oh my goodness. Um... We might just have to leave it for now, man. I don't know. He has tired, too. This is just... This is so bad. This is a huge, huge... Hole in this strategy. That's why I just... Just didn't even think of it. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it for now. Next turn. Hopefully, if it doesn't spread too much, I can take care of it next turn. Um, Jeez. Let's just get... Well, actually... Let's see... One, two... Yeah, okay. Let's just... Let's just throw an attack out. So he has a few HP thresholds. Take that scumbag, don't talk to me or my team ever again. Okay, there's the charge again. I just want to protect Greenwood. Alright, so there's someone... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that's fine. The virus only spread to their side. That's... That's okay. This turn, however, is, uh, it's, it's not gonna go nearly how I'd like it to. I might I have to find, oh no, she has two turns. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. I need to morale. I'd really like to at least stun one of these guys, because the thing is, when we morale, we're gonna be left with one HP. Uh, actually, you know what, this might be the time for the, the auto-revive setup instead. Um. Maybe I'll do both, actually. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Because the thing is, I also don't want my backup completely hosed. This is basically just to make it so that I can... I, I, I can still kind of have a... Uh, bit, of a bit of a chance here. So I'm going to stun... I forgot about the virus. Um, the, the virus might just have to stay for one more turn. Unfortunately. Cause it, it, the purify is still on cooldown, so I don't think I have much of a choice in the matter. The stumpy glue. This is entirely so that the backup stays alive, and also, you know, it's just useful to have in general. Um, so this is some multiple layers of insurance to make sure that this goes how I want it to. And uh, you know what? Let's just uh, let's put this guy on a timer. Oh, the C chose not to use it. Right, okay. No, I guess that was actually... Oh, no, no, I forgot. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We have everything for three turns, so this this will work no matter when he decides to use it. Macron is a powerful foe, wasn't he? In God Cat? Didn't serve his purpose, or he gave some lesser iterations as well. So you see, he, he's been completely in control the entire time. Um, so yeah, that's why Akron and God Cat aren't very relevant in this game, is because, basically, he, he put them as the final obstacle, and they failed him, so... Uh, this time he's decided uh, he's had enough, so he's just going to do it himself. Okay. Um, yeah, see, now we're getting virus too, which is which is the part I was trying to avoid. Um, don't 
really have a choice. And the thing is, I can't even cure the R party's um, virus all at once, either. That's, that's the worst part here. Because, uh... I've just switched someone out, so... Someone's gonna be stuck with it in the back of which, unfortunately, it's gonna be Matt for now. <clears throat> yeah, th this virus is, has caused... has introduced a lot of problems into this fight. I, I can definitely say that I have, uh... I, I regretted my choice to do that. Okay. The thing is, he, we, he still has his charge, so... Okay, here we go. I'm in complete control of this universe. Be gone, return to nothingness. This guy's pretty serious. Matt just might just die, actually. Or does he still have auto revive? No, or I guess it's in the back of something. Matter. Okay, those guys might die though. Yep. Okay. So e even with all that prep I did, it still just uh, <laughs> didn't didn't quite go according to plan. All right, she's got annihilate on deck again. That's good. Nat, unfortunately. Did not get her limit. I guess I should have had her in the front. The thing is, if you want people to charge their limits, you generally want to have them in the front, so because they take way more damage. Um. Okay, this is relatively problematic right now. How do you still have virus? Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Does it spread from the backup too? I didn't even know it did that. Hold on. Is that, who else has it? No one else. Okay. Um, jeez, man, this virus is such a problem. This is where things get a little bit on the tricky side. I'm thinking of doing a Viking Monolith, but I don't, I just, I'm very hesitant to use that much SP in case I need it in the, in the future. But we're in, we're in an unfortunate situation right now. I, I think I'm gonna do it. Everyone revived. Um, okay. Now let's Viking Monolith. <clears throat> I mean, the tentacles give decent amounts of SP when they die, so. Uh, this is probably fine. Now, what I'd really like these guys to not be virus anymore. I think it cures status effects in the backup anyway. But So we're going to actually go for a chili pepper here. Uh, yeah. I, I think this is our this is our play. And the Scorch is going to be immediately he healed by the 7th Heaven, so it doesn't even matter. And then I can have Honest on the, uh, the eyeball. If he summons one more thing next turn, I'm just going to annihilate. Chance I get. Okay. Basically, this whole time I'm playing. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay. We do need to get status effects back going on this on this guy as well. That curses, which is quite annoying. Okay. Okay. She got two. She gets two attacks now. That's very good. Um. She's got good luck. So this. This is highly likely to just kill everything. <clears throat> right. Okay. Alright. Let's re-weaken this guy. I really don't want him to start being able to actually dish out damage. Uh, no, many strike is on cooldown right now. Gotta get everyone healed up. That's that's kind of kind of mandatory here. The, the curse is just gonna have to stick around for a little bit. Let's get the uh, let's get him cursed again. Program the monoliths to be a defense system. If outside interference was detected, they would study it and summon me. Guardian started the game of watching you ever since. Okay, so basically, is the the instant we started playing, um, the the monoliths were able to detect that. And, uh, he's been watching us the entire time. So that's interesting. 
I actually forgot about that particular part of the, uh, the lore. Uh, okay, so slimy tentacle. Slimy tentacles are probably... Well, oh, no, no, no. No, they can, they can curse you. They're pretty annoying, actually. <laughs> um... Okay. Let's try and go for a stagger again. Let's go for a, a big turn from Matt here. Um, okay. <laughs> um, there's a right on Destiny for defeat it. We don't need to live in fear. Alright. I, I mean, you know. This is a bit of a bit of a higher level foe, I think, than anything we've ever fought before. But we'll, yeah, we'll see what we can do here. Um, it's good luck. Dispel doesn't really help me, but he's much more physical. So let's let's go for destroy too. Let's just let's just start throwing out limits. Okay. Very right, nice. No legs. Right in the eye. Yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid that. It's been manipulating space time for its own enjoyment. Uh, your home world is gone forever. Disintegrate before me, bite by bite. So that was uh, that was a little move that he uses called uh, delete Earth, which it does exactly what you think it does. This is when he gets particularly low on HP. Um, you'll also know we have a new status here. Earth has been defeated. Players will take more and more damage every turn. Status cannot be removed. So this is like a new, unique status effect. You'll also notice you can't flee anymore, because, you know, the Earth's gone. Uh, we we kind of have to finish what we started here or uh, or die trying. So this is kind of the last, the last push of this fight. He, the intention is that he's supposed to start summoning tentacles and eyeballs like crazy. But I believe in the current state of the game, this actually does not occur. I'm not sure. He might summon less tentacles, actually, in this part of the fight. I'm not completely sure on that. But, um... It, it, he definitely doesn't summon more. Uh, his, the, the amount of tentacles he summons is relatively low at this point really hurt. I bet it's really angry now. Yeah, we're doing a number on this guy. We, we, we've got him pretty far along here. Just floating in space now. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, me neither, man. Okay. That actually, yeah, that's actually a freeze attack, which is really interesting. Do you have any useful limits here? I did forget about Black Hole. Um... Yeah, let's actually, uh, let's do a black hole. I forgot, I gave him that specifically so that he has a really powerful limit break to use in this fight. Alright, let's do it. I mean, he's already destroyed the entire planet. What what harm could possibly come from introducing him just a little black hole into the mix? Alright. Uh... Wait, why didn't... I'm actually not positive why he didn't die just then, honestly. That's, uh... That's, that's a bit of a mystery to me. Okay. Uh... I, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Let's Pulsar just to take out, hopefully, the tentacle and the eyeball. Maybe not the eyeball, actually, yeah. You need to kill it now, there's not much to... Yeah, so basically every single turn you're gonna take gradually more and more damage until eventually you just can't... You just can't sustain anymore. Why won't you let me delete you? Why do you exploit the very laws I've- so We're literally fighting the creator of the entire in-game universe. Every sing- It's not even just that. Because in-universe, Godcat was the creator in the fourth game. But this is the creator of every universe. Every universe we've ever fought in. Fought in, in the Epic Battle Fantasy series, he made it. And, you know, we're just, we're just kind of beating him up here. Um... Okay, uh, let me try, uh, do we have nine lives? Let me see. 
I, I'm really, you know, obviously I'm pushing to finish him off here, but I'm, I'm trying not to do anything too uh, risky either. I think we can avoid just throw an attack. He's a little bit buffed, but oh, oh, we can, we can probably just kill him. All right, no legs. Take us home, buddy. That's it. That's just cosmetic, don't worry. He doesn't actually have an on-death attack. And woo, look at that. Thankfully, the Earth happens to come back this time. <laughs> okay, however, it appears we played directly into his hand. Uh, he was just stalling that entire time. Uh, manipulated the pixels on your screen and the sounds from your speakers. I guess headphones in this case. Sent me so, uh... Be hiding in your cosmic background radiation in the chaos of your dark energy. Some days the laws of quantum mechanics will reassemble him. So this apparently was his plan all along. Is that when we defeat him, or, you know, he was just stalling that whole time to allow him enough time to enter the actual real world... And so apparently this thing is, this thing exists in, you know, some sort of quantum state somewhere in the universe. And, you know, eventually uh, he's counting on himself being reassembled. Will that happen? I'm not so sure. Okay. Free from the manipulative tentacles of the Devourer. Cosmic model. Yeah, so they, they just shut off. They that, that was their entire purpose. Um... I assume in every game, too, so I actually imagine they've been doing that in every game as well. That's been their their goal is uh, surveillance. <clears throat> okay, so all the enemies that were uh, going just running rampant are now okay. Okay. <clears throat> so to regain memory... So they actually now remember all of their all the previous games. Also, which is really cool, they actually are all shown in different outfits here, which I thought was pretty cute. Um... Deleted information was slowly being restored to the cosmic from the cosmic recycle bin. I forgot about that line. Um, yeah, so uh, the characters now actually remember everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, this this is the point in the game where, um, depending on your character relationships you've been building up, you will see different bits of of text of like extra parts of the ending here. Um, every pair of characters has their own little, like, epilogue, I guess. It says what those two characters, like, how they've been interacting, I guess. <laughs> so Matt was being to take this more seriously. Matt did her best not to let her down. Um, time to spend alone, just like in the beginning of their quest. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so they actually remember everything, like, with zombie Goku and probably all the times they had to fight Lance and you know, all that stuff. <laughs> I still need a few years to grow up. Uh, yeah, so they eventually start dating, which, you know, not super surprising, but, you know, had to happen eventually. Uh, so here's Lance and Nat's little interactions. Uh, so he started to rebuild for all the stuff that he did, despite the fact that he was kind of justified, you know, trying to protect against this alien invasion. <clears throat> uh, often became collateral damage and many gardens were destroyed. Our risk assessment was never carried out. Uh, okay. You know, she would probably never be... Yep. She would come to her senses eventually, he thought. Bad <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, until someone better came along. Oh. I guess maybe let's talk about her, actually. Never mind. <laughs> nice to dream. So here's the, the, two, the two ladies. Uh, and they kicked her out. <laughs> but, you know, she bought a house, so that's nice. Filled with plants, as usual. <laughs> Anna's health suffered. <laughs> Don't worry, Nat put up a poster, though, so it's okay. Uh, also, apparently, Nat went back and uh, finished university, which is nice. You know, after getting kicked out for writing that fanfic or whatever. <laughs> okay. So they started Garden Center. Okay. No Legs functioned as their mascot. So the thing is, every No Legs automatically likes everyone, so you're going to see No Legs just kind of in a bunch of other people's cutscenes. Like, he was in uh, Matt and Nat's cutscene at the beginning. We're probably the local hippies. <laughs> Okay, so they play video games, which is nice. We got the classic uh, NES here. Uh, especially if co-op mode is available, fighting games would often result in real-life fights. So, yeah, co-op co -op games are preferred here. Uh, until recently, they couldn't afford internet. 
Finally revisiting old games. Online gaming. Oof. That's a tricky one. Technical problems resulted from... Mm, okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is one of my personal favorite interactions. I don't know why. I just like this one. Lance and Anna here. Uh, yeah, they start hunting together. It's pretty cool. Slimes and penguins. Uh, it's an exciting bounty on a rare and challenging beast. An, an adamantois or a behemoth king. I'd like to see what those look like. Yeah, despite, like, these are two of the most polar opposite characters in the entire game, I find. But, uh, it's, so it's pretty cool to see that hunting is kind of a middle ground. Uh, it came to understand that carping bombing was an unsustainable hobby, and Anna would learn many new swear words. <laughs> That's nice. And I think this is the last one, Matt and Lance here. Uh, the Giga Sword Cannon of 9,000. This is a sword cannon? I'm not sure how that exactly works. <laughs> capable of penetrating 20 tanks in a column. You know, if if there's just a straight line of 20 tanks, this is your weapon. Gun blades, sword chucks, and remote controlled swords. <laughs> oh my god, this is another one of my favorites. Uh, continue to pursue it through peaceful peaceful world domination. Well, that's nice. You kick off an industrial revolution, positioning himself as, himself as a market leader. Apparently it's more profitable to sell goods than to destroy them. That makes sense. This, I, I, this one, I don't know if this one only shows up if you have all the relationships maxed out. I'm not sure, actually. Um, the statues building their honor remain good friends. Yeah, this might actually only be for if you had, if you maxed out every relationship. Uh, me and Matt, like, dating now? <laughs> I mean, it's not, so, you know, it's, this, this is kind of like an overview, so it'll happen eventually. Yeah, oh, he actually mentioned that, I forgot about that. Yeah, this is, this is kind of a future, seeing the future here. Doesn't that violate some sort of time travel rules? <laughs> yeah, probably, but that's, I'm sure it's okay. Still plenty of time for that. <laughs> I'm not interested. Uh, really hope you turn out more like that future lands we just saw. <laughs> Program my own video game, hmm. He's gonna be the new devourer, the the new dev. <laughs> That'll show him. And he's just gonna go kill some penguins. Okay. It's gonna back what they did to no legs. <laughs> it's still got the eyebrows. Oh my god. Uh. Yep, he's talking to me now. If you really like EBF five, I think it's worth more than and think it's more than what you paid for. Uh. Yep, I do that. Get you some cool perks. Yep. Yeah, highly recommend. Um, I'll make sure to link his Patreon in the description here. Uh, it's, it's got an official Discord. His website is good for seeing news, but he posts the news on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and his website now. So you got a lot of different ways to, to keep up with it. Um, also, Fiona, who also has a Patreon, which I will also link in the description. Um, stop shilling, Fiona. <laughs> uh, probably gonna delete us now. Nah, I, I still got a couple more playthroughs left to do now. Come on now. Uh... Game 5, but wasn't for the huge support, man. I'd, I've been a huge fan of these games. I've, I said this on stream a lot. Th these games have had such a huge impact on me. The third game, in particular, it made me realize just what was possible with Flash games. I'd never seen a more robust, uh, just like, it web Flash game in my entire life before I played the third game. I've been... The first two games, I didn't really... You know, back then, I wasn't a huge fan of the, the format. But the third game, I, I was hooked, man. I was, I was just hooked. The secret thing, New Game Plus. So yeah, basically, the New Game Plus, it's pretty straightforward. You get to keep all your equips and stats. Um, yeah, you can't unlock some some of the medals in, uh, in New Game Plus. And also, uh, there's no New Game Plus exclusive achievements like there's been in the past. Uh, okay. Gotta quit and load the game, I guess. For some reason, we can't save after beating the final boss. Unfortunate, but you know, most games do it that way. You need to do something to start it, or is it just going to... <laughs> and then it just starts right again. I'm going to show this. I think this cutscene actually is different uh, in New Game Plus. So, let's see. Tag patterns change. Let me try... Stab him in the eye a few more times. Okay. Hope there's more to it than this. Uh... So you can see that... Uh... 
I thought that was... I think I, that is different on New Game Plus. I actually didn't immediately recognize what was different about it. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so now I can officially show you the completely unhidden metal screen here. Um, obviously, I couldn't have shown you this because this, this one literally sh spoils what the final boss looks like. And this one I blurred out before just because. Um, yeah, with that, you should, if you've been following along, you should have every single, um, every single medal in the game. So, with that, we have one more, I'm not gonna bother with New Game Plus here, there's not a whole lot to it yet. Maybe in version 2 I'll show a little bit of it. Um, there's just a li there's one, one last tiny detail to take care of before we end off this this iteration i guess of the the ebf series um and that of course is the final grand gallery room at this point you are now able to access the final room and um there's not a ton to show there but that will be where our last our final video in this run will will be um but all right bit of a longer video this time it would have been better if I just didn't make that stupid mistake on the, the first run, but that's alright. It turned out alright. Um, in general, the fight was actually a bit easier than I remember. Um, you just keep up on your debuffs, keep up on killing things. There's a couple tricky spots there. Um, but if you're able to stay on top of things, dealing damage actually is not too bad with this particular loadout. Pretty much everyone, you know, Matt had Cleaver, Lance had Black Hole. Nat was running support most of the time, but she could dish out some holy damage if she needed to. Ana was on support duty. No legs. Mostly on support, but uh, he also has got a pretty good limit break with uh, um, the Destroyer. But um, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you everyone very much for uh, for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check the description for a link to uh, my Twitch.tv channel. Currently streaming uh, version 2 of this game. Um, as well as Monetary with my buddy Sacred Survival. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. EST. Uh, also check the description for a link to my Discord. Uh, we have a channel for EBF, of course, which has uh, some of the prevalent uh, prevalent names in the EBF Discord, as well as channels for a bunch of other games I play, and uh, it's a good place to keep up to date as with live stream changes and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, next time, we got just a little bit left to do, and uh, we'll see where things go from there. But thank you, everyone, very much for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you guys later.